All right, guys, well, you've got DJ Squib here, another session of Frag, fantastic retro arcade gaming. And we're going to have another little session of Project Cars 2 on the PC, a little bit of game therapy for you and for myself. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so we're at uh, Donington Park GP. There's 20 of us on the track. I'm going to battle through, try and keep it clean. Let's go for it. Dodgy this first uh, first cut of bends. Plus cold tires is not good. Just try and make a few places up where we can. It's a bit dodgy. Ooh. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah, many moons ago, we uh, we used to go to the Donington Monsters of Rock. Obviously, at this, it was all set on this track area. Uh, you know, sort of rock bands. But this was this was years ago. Used to go down on the Friday, pitch the tent. On your right. Now the concert wasn't till Saturday, so we did a bit of camping on the Friday, had a bit of a party, had a bit of a knees up, and then Saturday was the the rock festival. All bands like ACDC, uh, Aerosmith, White Snake, or oh, loads of bands, loads of bands. Can't remember them all, but it was that was well, well good. But so we used to. I'm sure we used to have two nights camping. I think we so we definitely used to camp over Friday, and I think we used to camp over Saturday night and then go home on the Sunday. Uh, but one year we did it. And we went up on the same day. Went up with friends and that, and then come home on the same day. That was a that was a full-on experience. Preferred the camping side of it, but the Monsters of Rock Festival is now apparently it's called Download, so it's still it's still running. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still at Donington. But yeah, download, that's called. And uh, again, you know, all rock bands and... Too wide, left side. Whoa, sorry mate, going, I'll let you go. That was a bit of a dodgy move. Clear. But yeah, man, many good memories. You've got one on your right. At Donington. Nice, We're up to nine. We've got eleven and a half minutes. Now I'm trying out something a little bit different. I've got a. You might have noticed I've got another mic attached to my headphones, and that's the Uni Mod Mic. It's the the jack connection. It's not the USB one. So now, I've got the the jack version because of uh, how I capture me mic and everything. But 
but so far it's uh, it's it's a handy little device. So before I had like a, a boom mic over the back of us uh, with a road a road boom mic. But so this little uni mod mic it is pretty good. I think it was about I think it was about 55 quid or 50 quid something like that if you're outside the UK that's obviously that's I'm talking about pound notes oh no <laughs> sorry mate Ten minutes to go. I've not got no damage on it's just cosmetic So far, the, the AI are driving quite cleanly, it's just squibby. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments what you think of this mod mic, the audio, how's it sounding. I've done a few tests, um, and it, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. The other purchase I got over Christmas was a new telly, so I've got a Panasonic telly, 50 inch, you know, it's all singing, all dancing, and I've, I must admit the display on it is fantastic, it's, I think it's a, it's 180 megahertz I believe. And I've gone from a 40-inch screen, a Samsung, that was really an old telly. It was about, I don't know, six, seven years old. Uh, and going, going, from, going from the 40-inch to this 50, obviously there's the, the difference of the screen size, but the processor in this new telly you're obviously is a lot is a lot better and the colour so I normally go I normally stick with Samsung tellys because I've always liked them but so this was uh, I saw this uh, before Christmas and it was it was a bit dear obviously but then in the sales it was £100 cheap so I thought right <laughs> and plus me 40 inch Samsung, the picture was starting to go, it was like uh, discolor uh, uh, discoloration on it and um, once they start doing that they've not got long before they start really messing up. But it, uh, this is a 4K telly but I've not got a 4K PC um, but the upscaling of it is fantastic. I, I, the first time I played Oh, stop talking, Squibby. The first time I played, like, you know, Project Cars 2 on this new telly, I just couldn't believe the, the clarity of it all. Even playing some of me, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that was lucky. <laughs> but yeah, even playing some of me retro games, you know, like me Defender and Pac-Mans and things like that, uh, it, it upscales it all. And so at a later date, I will probably get another PC built. Uh, that's on the cards, but at the minute I'm going to have to hold off for a little while. Obviously, that will be. 4K, uh, 4K PC. I'm still gonna, still thinking about the, the the VR, but at the minute I'm gonna hold off for a little while. I still like the idea of doing VR games, especially these driving games. 
So since I've got this new telly, it's made the whole everything a lot better anyway. Oh! <laughs> Sorry mate, I clipped him as I went round. Right side. Okay, you're clear. Okay, so I've had a couple of little dodgy uh, manoeuvres I've done. And I'm there in first. Here we go again. Sliding about. Yeah, the other thing is, um, I've had this Logitech G920 wheel and um, pedals, and this next oh, next level racing stand for just over about six months, I suppose. While I'm holding everyone up here, uh, so six months down the line and. I have been messing about with the false feedback uh, and some of the settings. Um, yeah, I've tweaked with the, as I said, with the false, false feedback a few times. Uh, so I've got it. It's obviously I've set it on a lot stronger than it comes out the box. I think I've got it all on about 80 on all the settings. Now I know this wheel is not the it's not got the most force feedback on it. It's nothing like a, a direct wheel. Car on your left. But you know one day I might I might get a direct wheel. You're clear. Where's that car? There he is. Now that minute this wheel's brilliant and the pedals and the gear shift. But yeah, six months down the line, I'm, I'm well happy with this setup I've got. I mean, I only do it for fun. You know, I'm not sort of uh, like some of the guys who are mega quick and, oh, and don't keep cutting the grass. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's it. You go through again. But the thing is, with any of these games, is, is to enjoy what you're doing with what equipment you've got. Still using my folding camping chair. <laughs> and the funny thing, it has got sports right, wrote on the back of the chair. And with the next level racing stand, I've got it all bolted to. Um, I have changed the wheel set, you know, like the height for the wheel. I've got the pedals at its maximum setting because I am sort of six foot two ish or just over. Two minutes to go. So the wheel, the pedals are at the furthest setting, being a, a lanky geezer. I did have the wheel a bit higher and a bit nearer um, but I found it wasn't the best so I put the wheel I think the wheel has got one more setting I could move it up to but so I've got it I've got it just under the highest setting and because I've got this folding camp chair it's, it's brilliant because it's low enough to feel like you're sitting in a car Should have been third gear out there, not second. But yeah, I'm enjoying this thoroughly, you know, from a, a fun point of view where I'm not sort of taking it too serious. One of the 
one of the things I do want to do and I've been looking into doing is uh, doing some streaming doing this some gameplay either racing or other other gaming and what I'm going to do is uh, I've been looking at webcam uh, yeah webcams oh get on track yeah getting a, a webcam for this I was going to use me camera that I'm using to film uh, but it's it's going to be easy just getting a, a webcam I do love this little car, little red sports car, open cockpit, and the engine sounds brilliant. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of other racing games I I did have me me eye on. Um, well, they're coming out soon. Project Cars Three. Uh, and what's that other one? Auto Summit or other, another driving game. Oh, that's not good. Come on, mate. And the other one I was looking at was uh, Wreckfest. You know, sort of arena, track, destruction, derby type game. Reminded me a little bit of uh, Flat Out, if anyone remembers that. Yay! Well, it was a semi-clean race. <laughs> um, there was a few little bumps and crashes and bits and pieces, what I caused, but you know, such is life. Uh, but yeah, so that was enjoyable. Uh, what was my best lap? Best lap was 135.697. Uh, so that was... Like it was about the best, yeah. It was that was all right. Cool, right? Well, so I hope you enjoyed that because I did. That was a, a nice little track to drive around Donington. Um, but yeah, I want to do a bit more driving. Uh, been messing about with some other games and bits and pieces. Life gets in the way, you know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Live long and prosper, may the force be with you all. Uh, thanks for liking and subscribing and all those wonderful things. And I'll catch you all soon. Cheers, guys. See you soon.